Yo, what is going on guys? I am here. It is your boy Poontang. We are talking about Tyler Ennis. What happened to this man's career? I want to shout out the guy who commented down below in one of my videos on recommending this. So let's hop in. Let's talk about it. Let me hear your likes down below. Smack that subscribe button while you're there and comment down below. What do you know about Tyler Ennis? What do you remember? And what do you think contributed to his fall in the NBA? So let's talk, hop into it. Tyler Ennis. <clears throat> He went to Syracuse, if you don't remember. He helped this team go actually kind of far in the tournament. They almost made the Sweet 16 when they lost to Dayton. He was born August 25th, 1994. He's 25 years old. He was born in Ontario, Brampton, and he's 6'3", 394 pounds. So he went to a school called St. Benedict's in New Jersey, Newark, which is only like three hours from me. And he balled out. He was the listed as the number five point guard in his class. He's a five-star recruit, number 20 best player in the whole nation in 2013. So then he went to Syracuse. He played two years. In his freshman season, he averaged 13 points, three and a half rebounds, five and a half assists, two steals in 35 minutes a game. So he was one Namus College Player of the Year in his only season, actually. I thought it was two years because it said 2013, 2014 on the side but it's actually one year he almost won his college player of the year is one of the 10 top 10 semi-finalists and he almost led the team like i said earlier past dayton to go into the sweet 16 so he's ended up being drafted with the 18th overall pick by the phoenix suns he when he was there in his one season he was a lot sent to the g league he was sent to the g league log then he was traded to the Bucks. He spent two seasons there, didn't really do anything again. Then he was sent to the Rockets, in exchange for Michael Beasley. Again, he had really shitty minutes, he got released, and then he was at the Lakers for half a season and then a full season. And with that, his Lakers was his best year where he got the most minutes, 18 minutes a game in his first half year there. He shooting 38% from three, had two and a half assists, and he was averaging seven and a half points. Then the following year, he only averaged 13 minutes a game because Lonzo was there. And he really went downhill. So then he signed in July of last year. He signed with this Turkish club that he's still there to this day. And he's not really doing anything. He averaged 11 minutes a game and seven points. He suffered a severe ankle injury and had to be taken to the hospital on October 21st. So really what I think contributed to him not being that great of a player like that he was supposed to be is the fact that I I guess he never put it all together. He had the size in college, he balled out. Like he was a really good college player. As you saw, he had 13 points, five and a half assists. And I really think it's defense. Because if you see his three he had a 31% three uh three-pointer like percentage in the NBA. So he wasn't really splashing when he was there, but when he was in the G League, he played great. He did a really good job in the G League. Like in the one season where he was getting a lot of minutes, he ate 38%, okay? And with that being said, I think, first off, he never got a lot of minutes to prove who he was. But second off, I don't think he was that good defensively. He didn't have the length. Yeah, he's 6'3", but he, he didn't have long arms. He didn't try on defense. Because if you can try on defense and you're a hustler and you do all that stuff, you're always gonna have a place in this league if you make a name for yourself in the deficit ball. And he was trying to make a name for himself on the offensive side where he wasn't killing it. And I thought he should have learned how to kill it on the defensive end before trying to kill it on the offensive end. So that's my opinion on what happened to him. I wanna hear what you guys think. Do you think he's gonna come back? Probably not. That's probably the end of his story. So let me hear down below. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Peace out.